Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here. Now, uh, I don't normally have the webcam faded in for this, but uh, I thought I just would because I, I felt like it. So anyway, uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a cool wallpaper like this one here. Uh, I don't really know what to call this kind of wallpaper. I'm just going to call it a starburst wallpaper. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to make a starburst wallpaper like this one in Adobe Photoshop. So you're going to need three things for this. You're going to need one Adobe Photoshop, CS3, CS4, I know it works with them, I, I don't know if it works with any other version, but if it does, then that's great, I'm going to be showing you in CS4 at the moment. So you're going to need Adobe Photoshop, and then you're going to need two sets of brushes. You're going to need the one set of brush is that is actually for the starburst effect, as you can see here, and then you're going to need the glow brushes, which I mentioned in another video. I'll post all the links to them in the description. So let me just go ahead and fade my webcam out to go ahead and show you guys the rest of the tutorial. So as I said first, you're going to need to go ahead and download the brushes. Here are the glow brushes right here. I did a video on how to make a wallpaper with the glow brushes. And then here's another set of brushes called the rising sun brushes, which are the brushes that let your wallpaper have this background effect right here. So as you can see, I've downloaded the brushes and I have them over here in folders. I have one that's glow one, and then I have one that I just named starburst because it had some uh, name with a bunch of numbers on it. So that way, now that we have the brushes, I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop. And now I'm going to go up to File and create a new file. And then here where it says Width and Height, put in your screen resolution. And so here where it says Name, I'll just name it Starburst, just because I can. So now I'm going to hit OK. So now that it has my screen resolution, it's got this big uh, transparent thing here. So now I'm going to go up to Edit and Fill and I'm going to fill it in, in a color. I already have the color selected as this kind of red. So now what I'm going to do now that I have the red is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to create a new layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here into the brushes tool and I'm going to have my brushes selected. But before we select my brush I'm going to go down here to these two little white things here and I'm going to change the color to of the of to black so that the top one here is black and the bottom one's white. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up into my brush toolbar here that I have selected and I'm going to go down and click on the arrow and I'm going to click on load brushes and then just go to wherever you saved them. I saved them to my desktop. Here's my glow brushes and here's my starburst brushes. Just import them in and then you have your brushes there. Since I already have them imported I don't want to import them again but basically now I have them imported. So. Down here at the bottom, I have my Starburst brushes. I have all these different brushes that I can choose from to make a uh, Starburst wallpaper or Rising Sun wallpaper. So I think I'll select this one. And now I'm going to just go ahead and align it to the position I want. Click in, and there I have my Starburst brush open up. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and create a new layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over here to the two little color things again and change the black one to white. Now I'm going to go up and make sure my brush tool is selected again. I'm going to go up here and then I'm going to scroll till I find my glow brushes, which are uh, these ones right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this uh, big glow ball thing and uh, put it down there in the center. But since I don't want it that big, I'm going to go into the brushes settings and change the uh, size of it so it's big but not too big. So have that there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select another glow brush, one that goes to the side like this, and I'm going to make it a little bigger. That's too big. And that's just the right size, so I'm going to click and make that in the center. So now that we have those, I'm going to go down here and create another new layer. And then I'm going to go over here to the side and grab my ellipse tool. If it's not on the ellipse tool, click on the rectangle I think that's here, and then find the tool that says ellipse tool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to make a perfect center in the middle. To make a perfect circle, hold down the shift key and then click and drag to make your circle. So I want my circle to be about that big. And I'm going to put it right here in what I think is the center. Uh, it's always going to be a little bit off centering unless you choose to center it yourself. So now what I'm going to go down here into my layers menu again. I'm going to right click on the shape and I'm going to go into blending options. And then I want to make it so it has a drop shadow, an inner shadow, an outer glow, and an inner glow. And then I'm going to go down here to gradient overlay. I'm going to double click in this box. And then I'm going to click on the little white thing up there. 
then I'm gonna make sure this little white thing down here I'm gonna set that to black and then this little white thing over here I'm gonna click and set to red so now that I have it set like that so now I'm gonna click OK and then down here I'm gonna go down to stroke uh, and then make the color white so now the color is white and I have my stroke the way I want it so now I'm just gonna click OK so now I have all my blending options like this I think I'll move it a little bit more to the center so now I have all my blending options like this I'm gonna go down and create another new layer and then I'm gonna go over here and grab my text tool and then I'm just gonna click and drag and just type in a capital PC and H uh, I think I'm gonna have to drag it out here to get the H so now that I have that I'm just gonna grab my text center it into the middle of the circle that's about center and then I'm gonna go up here to file and save as I wanna save it as a PNG and I'm gonna save it as starburst1 to my desktop and I'm gonna click save click OK here wait for it to save and now it's saved. I have it on my desktop right here. So let's go ahead and set it to my desktop background. And so now it looks like that. Wow, that one's actually better than my other one. So let me go ahead and fade the webcam in now. Okay, so anyway guys, that is how you make a starburst wallpaper or rising sun wallpaper in Adobe Photoshop. I'll post the download links to both the brushes in the description. And uh, let, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys like having wallpapers like this. I mean, I know. I mean, look at that. That is cool. So, anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. This has been a video from PC Hacker 11. So, uh, more videos coming up, but uh, I need ideas. So, if you guys have any ideas for videos that you want to see me make, then leave a comment below or send me a PM because uh, I want to make more videos, but I'm running out of ideas. So, anyway, thanks a lot for watching again, guys, and I'll see ya.